Earthquake shakes Italian island. One person died and dozens more were wounded when an earthquake hit Italy. A 4.0 magnitude earthquake struck the island of Ischia off the coast of Naples, Italy on Monday evening. One woman was killed by falling masonry from a local church, while at least 25 others were wounded. The number of dead is expected to increase. Power cuts hit parts of the island after the quake, which was followed by 14 aftershocks. The seismic event comes a few days before the anniversary of an earthquake in central Italy that killed 299 people last year. Italy's geography makes it prone to seismic activity. The country is situated on the boundary between the African and Eurasian plates. Earthquakes can result whenever these plates collide. Keep watching for more on natural disasters that hit in 2017. Avalanche destroys resort hotel in Italy, burying up to 30 people. An avalanche triggered by a series of earthquakes in Italy swallowed a ski resort hotel, burying up to 30 people inside. Four magnitude 5.2 and stronger earthquakes struck near the town of Amatrice on Wednesday, triggering an avalanche that buried Hotel Rigopiano. About 30 people were at the hotel at the time. Reports say the hotel guest had gathered on the ground floor to await evacuation after the initial trembler struck. One guest, Giampaolo Perete, said he stepped out of the hotel to get medicine for his wife when he saw the avalanche come down and engulf the hotel, burying his family and others inside. Although calls for help were made at around 5.30 p.m. on Wednesday, the first rescue team reportedly didn't reach the hotel until around 4 a.m. on Thursday. Parete was one of two survivors who were found. Both were outside the hotel at the time of the avalanche. Massive landslide caused killer tsunami. Researchers say a mega tsunami that devastated a Greenland settlement in June was triggered by a landslide. On the night of June 17th, a landslide hit Karat Fjord on Greenland's west coast. The landslide was so large, it produced a seismic signal that suggested a magnitude 4.1 earthquake. Large volumes of rock plunged 1,000 feet into the waters below, shattering a glacier and triggering a mega tsunami with waves over 90 meters high. The tsunami devastated a nearby fishing village, washing away 11 houses and leaving at least four people presumed dead. A team from the Georgia Institute of Technology visited the site to collect information and are aiming to produce a 3D reconstruction of the incident. Researchers also determined that another landslide in the fjord may be imminent, leading authorities to evacuate three villages in the region. Though the cause of the landslide has not been determined, experts say factors such as those brought about by climate change may increase their frequency. Dumbo to the rescue! Four days of heavy rain in Nepal led to flash floods and landslides that resulted in at least 70 people dying. Around 600 tourists were also left stranded after the Rapti River overflowed south of Kathmandu. Luckily for them, the pachyderms of Chitwan National Park are on it. The park's elephants marched alongside tractor trailers on Sunday to rescue some 300 stranded tourists. The gentle giants went back a second time on Monday, transporting the rest of the victims to safety. Chitwan National Park is home to more than 600 rhinos and elephants, and fared much better than another park in India's Assam state, which was also beset by floods. Kazaranga National Park has the world's largest population of endangered one-horned rhinos, but the animals had to be moved to higher ground after floods submerged nearly 90% of the park in water, 